I'm going to play the song like that. But last night, Drake actually released on Spotify his diss to Kendrick. And the song is called Push Ups. So I'm going to play both songs back to back. But Luminary Community, let us know on Instagram what you guys think about this beef. We're going to come back after um, listening to both these songs. And we're going to give you guys our take on it. But first, we're going to get into Future, Metro Boomin, and Kendrick Lamar. It's like that. First track we heard was Future featuring Metro Boomin and Kendrick Lamar on Like That. Second track we heard was uh, Push Ups by Drake responding. And now from what um, Joseph has uh, let me know is Drake also has, and you let me know too, Missy Talks, that Drake has another track called Taylor Made with AI Snoop. And AI Tupac. And AI Tupac. So... Let, let's talk about it y'all like what do y'all think why do you think all these beefs are good for drake or do you think drake just needs to just stop it while he's ahead because he has such a, a big no, time career drake loves being in beefs he loves coming at people so i think he's it's happening for him like it's mm. it's good for him although i do think that the, the ai is a little much that i don't i don't like that but i agree with you i don't, I don't know about no ai on a song with an AI, interesting. Yeah, um, I think, like, I get the perspective, like, oh, like, artists shouldn't uh, tear other artists down. But honestly, I think everybody's benefiting from this, you know, especially financially. And, you know, everybody's talking about Dre, Kendrick. Now there's, what, Quavo and um, Chris, Chris Brown. Brown. Chris Brown, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's, like, a, a rap world war going on right now, but... Okay, I think the Drake and and that whole beef, they're in on it together. The Chris Brown and Quavo beef, I think that's real. I don't think that they're in on it together. I think they're really hating on each other. For me, I think I think Drake and Kendrick actually don't like each other. Like, mm. Really? Yeah. Wow. See, and for me, I, I mentioned this last week. I just think that they're in too many similar circles. So I just think eventually, if they're not, if they don't like each other right now, eventually they'll squash this beef because they both are cool with J Cole. If J. Cole isn't cool with Kendrick, if something's changed, I don't know. But Kendrick has worked with J. Cole in the past. They've all worked with each other. Drake yeah. has song a song with Kendrick. Drake has um, songs with J. Cole. Kendrick has songs with both Drake and J. Cole. But the funny thing, the thing that I don't know if it's going to stop or not is this Rick Ross and Drake. Because now he's <laughs> calling him a white boy on Instagram. And calling him out for multiple plastic surgeries. I know no, nose and they're his, saying BBL, but really what they're talking about is the the etched abs that Drake. I was wondering got, about that. Thank you, you know, for clearing out, that up. Out of the blue one day, because he has for some luminary community. If you don't know what uh, Missy Talks is talking about, uh, Rick Ross keeps putting these hashtags BBL Drake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like what is this? But you know that that has been a rumor f that has been going on for quite some time because Rick Ross isn't the only one that's pointed it out. Really, several different people have pointed it out. Um, I kind of think that's who Meg the Stallion was talking about in her song "Hiss." Was oh, oh these guys are talking about my scars, but they have the same one. So I mm. kind of think Ooh. that that's who she was talking about. But good point. Yeah, Eey. just throwing Meg in there just for the fun what? of it. <laughs> Look at Missy talks reading in between the lines over here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that one to me just seems kind of like, ooh, why are these? I think Rick Ross is kind of like in with the the money too, and he's like, hey, let me jump on and on, on get on this guy too. But I don't know which ones seem real to me and which ones just so, kind of seem like with rap beefs though. Don't you have to? Don't you have like twenty four hours or forty eight hours to respond? Right? Like normally, <laughs> isn't it like that? Because how many days has it been since Kendrick has responded? Like he hasn't yet, right? He just hasn't. Yeah, I think I think it depends on the rapper. Because okay. I, I sort of look at, and I'll take it back to Jay-Z and Nas. Um, when Jay-Z said what he said, and, um, he said it like during Summer Jam. And Summer Jam is a big concert that happens in New York. Um, and he basically brought Michael Jackson out. And um, after he brought Michael Jackson out, he did the song Takeover. And then after, um, in one of the lines in Takeover, he says, Nas don't want it with Hov. Oh, and the crowd just went crazy. Uh -huh. And Nas took some time to come out with Ether. But as we saw, <laughs> there was a reason why he took time with it, because that stuff was it was fire. He didn't come out with it. I don't want to say he came out with it within 48 hours. It took like I want to say like a week or two. Um, so it, it depends on the, who the rapper is. I think Kendrick's more from that um, 
the era, era I mean, where he takes his time a little bit more so i think so too i think kendrick is gonna take some time to do it but i it's gonna come out so fire i can't wait the last time i was really excited about a rap beef was uh drake and Pusha T, and they had a really good back and forth so i hope that that happens as well with kendrick definitely definitely yeah so um since we heard both tracks which which one do you guys prefer i like the first one uh, Drake and Metro Boomin in the future? Yeah. In fact, wasn't the whole album kind of like a shot to everyone? Wasn't it called We Still Don't Trust You or something yeah. like that? Yeah. I love that. And I, I feel like, is that whole album about Drake? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Uh, I don't think necessarily, but yeah, that, that, it's a very, uh, very uh, like out there, you know, like in your face album. And they just came out with a deluxe too. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, and I know I they're going to be going on tour too. Um, And the crazy thing about it was Future had a mixtape with Drake. So it was, and it did very well. I mean, yeah, he had a whole music video with him. Yeah, I mean, I, I still listen to Jumpman, Jumpman, Jumpman. I mean, that's like you know, so I'm, to go at him, it's it's just interesting. They but. did that music video when they were in the the fast food restaurant, right? Yes. Yeah, that one yep. too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I agree with Missy. Um, I do like the push ups track. He's saying some things on there. Drake is doing his thing, but there's just something about like the whole like that record and and metro boom and doing the production and and drake's think, shot was funny too when he was. told metro to shut up and stay on the drums but he's one of the best at the drums so i'm like he is. shoot stay on he the is. drums yeah but i'm, I'm rooting for like drums. that i am yeah. i am on the, the the like that train yeah same here so we're all on the like that train luminary community let us know on instagram or or just let us know chime in are you taking push-ups or you're taking like that let us know but i will so i think the like that went harder but i think drink definitely held his own with the push-ups right because i yeah. it's definitely catchy i, I did mm -hmm. like it so no it is it's, it's definitely catchy i think that for me what i want to see is i want to see um missy you alluded to it earlier is now that drake got push-ups and he got this song taylor made is kendrick gonna wait for an album to no. respond back or do you guys feel like he's actually going to respond back very soon i hope he responds soon and it looks like he's doing it on other people's albums he's not basically taking the time out to make a whole song he's just basically saying hey future you got a song let me jump on that i got something to say real exactly. quick and then these guys are like uh why are you talking about somebody that I like on my song? You know what I'm saying? Because I kind of feel like, and you guys can let me know if I'm correct or not, but I feel like Future and Metro Boom were like, we need a feature. You know who would sound good on this? Kendrick. But I don't think they even had an idea that he was going to bring some heat against Drake on their song. So it kind of made them look like... I mean, they approved it at the end of the day. I was going to say, sure they still did. put it they, on. They, they didn't they, have they to. Approved it. They, yeah. they, they approved didn't it. They approved it. They approved it. I mean, so... I, do you guys think he's gonna come out on someone else's song, continue the trend that he's he's got going, or he's gonna make his own diss record in response to push ups and I want him to go real hard. I want him to do his oh. own song. I want him to go hard on it. And I mean if he has other people on it, cool, but I think he should do his own song oh. instead of going and jumping on someone else's song. Missy's for the drama. I'm for the drama. I'm for the drama. You guys should know that already. Yeah. Man. I, I think eventually he will respond, just not like like super quickly though because i feel like kendrick's more methodical in that way yeah and then also i don't think it'll release like as an official like spotify apple music song i think it'll get leaked like uh the way drake did because sometimes you know it takes a while like i think the reason that they're getting leaked before they're getting posted on on any of the music platforms is because you know it takes time to clear samples so why wait to like clear the samples mm. and just like leak it you know so. Anita knows had had that question earlier. She was like, "What's up with these leaked tracks and and how is this working for I these mean, people?" I mean, are they really leaked? They're doing it on purpose. Yeah, they're right. doing. They're not. They're they're, it's it not themselves. leaking. They're leaking it themselves. Yeah. 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 And then go, man. How did my track get out? Come on, man. Mm -hmm. So back to the the uh, Taylor Made song, right? That just came out yeah, the other last day night. Last, night. last night. I mean, it's so weird to me because a lot of artists are like anti AI, but then mm. Drake goes and puts ai good point on good his point. song so i was really like confused about that because even snoop this morning he, or yeah i, I saw, saw snoop I this saw morning he's like on ig and he's like what is this he he's, did what now and he's <laughs> like he kind of showed his death row um 
label on his jacket and he's like i'm going back to bed <laughs> like, oh my god did they yeah. have to get clearance from him or that's, no, that's, that's a good question that's why, like he had to resort to ai to do all that like right you, like with ai you can just go on any website and then just like type snoop dog and then put the lyrics and to be honest that's kind of corny it that is, is that's so it, that corny was my to instant me instant reaction as well it's it so corny you have to resort to like okay i i get both sides i get the drake side where it's like oh i'm gonna use west coast rappers to diss oh Kendrick, west coast who's right a west coast rapper right but resorting to AI and not even just Snoop Dogg, Tupac, a dead man, like, right. like let him rest in <laughs> peace, bro. Like you had to resort to like to that. Now I got I got this question. It may sound it may sound like psh, whatever. Yeah, right. But was this released from Drake himself, or did someone take a Drake verse and mash do a mashup? Let's hear it, Joseph. I feel like you know do, the answer. Do you to think this. that Drake actually said, "You know what? You guys find me an AI Snoop, find me an AI Tupac, man. I'm gonna do a verse right now, and then after that, we're gonna put it all together." Or do you think someone was just like, "I got this, I got this hidden Drake verse that no one knows about. Let me mash it up and put no, it." I out. think it's the first, the first one you said because it's on his like the other one wasn't even posted on his Instagram. It was like leaked all over social media, got it from him. But last night it was posted on Drake's official Instagram. Right. Oh wow. So he knew about it. Yeah. He put it together. Come on, Drake. I'm, I'm not. I'm not feeling that either. I agree with Missy Talks, to, and, and I agree with you, Joseph, as well. The whole AI thing, it's sort of like when, I don't know what concert venue this was, when they had the, uh, hologram, the hologram Tupac. I don't, yeah, I don't vibe with that either. Like, he's not here anymore. Yeah. To, to, to <laughs> say you could do it or not do it. Right. You know, so I don't know. I'm still going to listen to this track. I haven't heard the track yet, um, but I'm still going to listen to it. But me listening to it, knowing that that's not the real Snoop, or the real Tupac. Well, and that opens the doors for so many other artists to be like, you know what? Drake did it. I'm going to put a Drake AI on my song. And now he cannot get mad about it because he did it with other uh, artists. Right. Right. And and him saying like how great Kendrick is and it's a Drake AI. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine? Oh, my God. They should. Kendrick should do that. That would be funny. I would laugh. I don't know. I don't vibe with the AI. Yeah, stuff. I, I don't Either vibe with way. the AI. But stuff. Drake opened the door. Yeah, Drake did open the it door. It was a I dangerous mean, door to open. Kendrick, uses, I don't know. I don't know. I don't vibe with it. <laughs> I don't think Kendrick would do it because I think Kendrick's a little bit more right. like he's more. more he, he makes his no, not his cautious, more but it's more thought out. Like yeah. like uh, right. Fix by Jay said earlier, more methodical. methodical. And he's very methodical. Yeah. Definitely methodical. And I think that. This I don't think, and you guys could correct me if I'm wrong. This isn't this isn't a good look for Drake because Drake years ago had a situation with ghostwriting. People were accusing him of not writing his own material, and even though this is not of the same situation, it's like you're bringing people on that aren't even around. Like Joseph said, I agree. It's corny. Like it's corny. So you not writing your own material is corny, and then you going to get AI is corny. So it's like. I just I don't get that. I, I really don't vibe with that. And I don't understand why he did that. And I think that it makes it less tasteful if he comes out with another diss track to where I'm going to be more apt to listen to Kendrick's as opposed to his. Mm. But I don't know what you guys think. Yeah, no, like Anita oh, knows is laughing over there. I don't know what she laughing. We're la we're laughing because we're getting uh, text messages, phone uh, calls, uh, phone calls a, and text messages. From a certain someone. Ooh, who's <laughs> dying? He's dying over here. And I'm over here trying to run the camera. So, <laughs> <laughs> Junior Leto, what you want, boy? Shout out to Junior Leto. He wants to chime in so bad. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I, I mean, that's my take on it. You guys got any final words no, on it? Like, I get both sides, you know, because what Drake's I'm pretty sure it's not AI Drake. I don't know if Drake would AI himself, uh, but I wouldn't put it past him. But man, um, like the the actual song itself, it, it is you know he does offer some very very great uh, disses at mm. Kendrick. I will say, yeah, he does. I uh -huh. would say so. But just getting like getting past the just the AI stuff is just is just too corny for me. I can't. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Well, we'll see what happens. I we just want to say like. What if Tupac didn't even like any of them? <laughs> Why right. did he use his likeness? I think, right. I, I think he used Tupac because Kendrick looked up to Tupac. So right. I'm like, all right, I'm going to use one of your idols to diss you. So Yeah. And I, I, I don't know if you all remember, but I remember this track and I remember the video very vividly because I love the song. The game had a song called 100 and it's on the documentary too. And there, there's, there's a video to that song and they're in Compton. Mm -hmm. And... There's a line in the song where 
basically Drake is saying that I could take all your fans if I wanted to go with that conscious route. And he's just basically saying it and he's saying it in his city because Kendrick is from Compton. So I was looking at that video going, this dude See? is over here <laughs> in and, Compton. <laughs> and that's another reason why I think Meg the Stallion was taking shots at Drake because again in the his song she was like look at you're over here in, in your enemy 